This is Annie Payne. This is my friend's account. Uh, it's a foreign account. Actually, it's not for the foreigners. You can register, but um, the functionality will be limited. The daily transfer will be limited. Even some foreigners that are using this for doing, doing the money transfer business is illegal. And also, you have the daily limit. But for the Chinese, we have more limit. So this is the this is the account. And at the very beginning, you, um, you need to download the the AniPay account, and then you will see this kind of this kind of interface, and then you can sign up. There's one more issue. Like this is for the Chinese user. If you are using uh, the phone number from your country, sometimes uh, you cannot receive the OTP. So in this way, just make sure you have very good internet connection. And sometimes you maybe you cannot get uh, the OTP timely. Just make sure you can um, access the internet. Uh, you have very strong connections. But just try to restart your phone. But anyway, after you make it, you are going to this kind of interface. It's very confusing, right? Um, sorry, you will go to this kind of interface. It's very confusing. You don't know what to do. Everything's in Chinese. Don't be panic. Just follow me. So first, you just go to the top right here. Just remember this icon. Just remember this icon. Hit it, and then you will see the setting page. This is for the setting. You will see the setting page. You don't know what's this. Okay. Just remember this icon. Remember this icon. Just hit it, and then you will be direct to this page. And here, I just remember this one, the second row, the second row. This is the multiple language. You just hit here, and then you will find the language option. So uh, my language is the Chinese, and then I can, I can hit this one, English. After I hit English, and then get back to my profile. Okay, so... So from here you will have the balance. If you have the balance, you can you can pay from you can buy the product from Alibaba. Right now, you don't know how to get the balance, and you are, you don't have the Chinese bank card. It's not, it's impossible to top up. So some foreigners, some import coach or the online coach, they are doing the service. Actually, they are doing the the money agent business. You give them the the local currency and they top up for you. They get some profit from this transaction. Like for example, if you're from Nigeria and I don't know the the, the currency is Naira, it's Naira. You give them the Naira and then they can top up for your account. And then they will charge you some commission. Sometimes um, they charge you the, the permission directly. Sometimes they using the different con the conversions, the exchange conversions, they make money from the conversion difference. This is the way how they promote this kind of service. But um, yeah, so let's try to, to click here, the balance. After I click here, the balance, and you will see this page. And you will, you will see the pop-up right here. Please complete your identity verification. As a foreigner, I'm not living in China. I don't care these rules. If I don't verify my ident identity, so what will happen? Okay, let me ignore this one. I don't want to upload my passport, my identity. Then you go to the home page. So here, sorry. So you go to the home page. You click like uh, receive money here. Receive money and then you will get a code, a QR code. So like for this one, if you want to do the test, you send a Yancy, you send me this QR code, and then I, I use my phone to scan this QR code and I can transfer money to you. But let's do a test. After scan your QR code, let me see if I transfer one arm to you. So there's a pop-up. You will see this kind of pop-up. The real reason is you need to verify your identity. Let's make, let me get back to your interface here. This is your balance page, okay? This is your balance page. If you click recharge, recharge means top up, top up. And then you will, you will see that. 
complete your information. Namely, you need to upload your passport. You need to upload your passport. Just prepare the passport if you want to use it. And then, yeah, this is the info. Like, for example, if I'm from Ghana, I can input my passport, my my ID info. Actually, it's your passport number. And you just scroll. It's very basic info. They need to verify your identity. And after that, you can use it. But even you can use it, but as a foreigner, you will have the daily limit. You will have a daily limit. You cannot use it freely as a Chinese. As a Chinese. But it's okay for, for buying, for shopping. It can meet your requirement. But if you want to use it for doing the, the money transfer business, just be careful. Be careful. This is not for that. So after you're setting up, and uh, maybe you need to wait, and after a few days, they will approve your account. After they approve it, you need to bind Alipay with your 168 account.